See, I'm like also sus of Byakuya. I'm not sus of Kyoko. I'm not sus of Hina or Sakura or Mondo. I feel like they're all fine. And Taka. It's either it's either Hifumi, Celeste, or Byakuya. It's one of those three. But I feel like Byakuya is going to be sus in a lot of these trials. Because he's just a sus guy. He's a sussy baka. <laughs> that's it. That's going to be the title of the next episode. What, Byakuya is a sussy baka? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sussy Byakuya. <laughs> Yakubaka. I cry. I don't actually know what that actually means. I just know Baka? what it's mean. Yeah. Baka means idiot. Oh, uh, yes. Hell yeah. I know that now. See? I... That's not ironic at all that I didn't know what that word meant. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Uh, we're about to start the second trial, and, um... Larson, can I be honest with you? What? I fucking hate this trial. What do you mean? It's- I can't quite explain why I hate it without getting into spoiler territory. It's not the solving of the trial. The solving of the trial is fine. The evidence fits with the murder case just fine. It's just the writing. Mm. And I can't explain why I don't like the writing until we actually, like, get done with the trial and then I can explain more detail why I- I'm not the biggest fan. But I think I think you'll do fine on this trial. Even though you don't seem very confident. Oh yes. No so. time like the present. Let's get into it. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's go in through these fucking red doors. These red doors. It lagged really bad there for me. <laughs> but that's okay. Look how much fewer people there are now. Ahem. So is everyone ready to... What? Hmm? Am I blind or are we missing someone? Yeah, Kyoko's missing. Yo. And Toko. <laughs> Yeah, Toko's not here. Also, I could have swore I saw Kyoko behind Tofumi. And Toko is, uh... You really don't remember? Come on. Kidding, I'm just kidding. How could I forget that little nut job? She's a crucial part of a class trial this time. What do you mean? Okie dokie, I'll go ahead and drag her out here, kicking and screaming. Just a moment, please. You got some thoughts on your mind? Uh, <laughs> my mom says she can't buy me Subway. I'm sad. Oh, rip. Oh, well. And just like he said a few minutes earlier, he reappeared dragging Togo behind him. Yeah. Is this me? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Great. <laughs> I told him I didn't want to, but he forced me! I can't believe you would drag a girl around! Yeah. Terrible! You're terrible! Ooh. Nah, so now everyone's here, right? Okay then, hustle onto the elevator, let's get this show on the road! <laughs> I'll see you guys down there! Oh my lord. Let's go. So, shall we get going? It's time to find out who killed Chihiro. You sussy baka. Don't lie to me. Chihiro. 
Kira Fujisaki. She was so gentle, so calm, and meek. Nobody had any problems with her. And now she's covered in blood. Someone made the choice to kill a girl like that. And that murderer is one of us. Someone standing right here. Do I have to talk to people? No, you can just go to the elevator. Bye-bye. We have no choice, right? We have to do this. It's true. Yes. I gave a small nod in reply. With one last deep breath, I walked toward the elevator. I'm sorry, bitch. Place. Is that all you had to say? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> With each step forward, I could feel my heart starting to race faster and faster. As soon as everyone was on, the elevator began to descend. I couldn't get a handle on my emotions, couldn't stop speculating. Oh my lord. The steel box sank with heavy clunking sounds deeper and deeper into the ground. And, and as we went deeper, the uneasiness in my heart grew bigger and bigger. The elevator was unaffected, however, and continued to descend without hesitation, until finally, I came to a sudden stop. <laughs> what do you think? I redecorated. Isn't it so fresh? Isn't it so exciting? You're scaring me. Hm. Don't waste our time with stupid questions. Let's get this over with. Wow. Good, good, you're rip raring to go. Gotta say, I don't hate it, not at all. Well... Okay then, let's get this show on the road! Thrills, chills, Everyone, thrills. please find your assigned seats. We go into the voice actor? And so the curtain opened once again. A deadly judgment, a deadly deception, a deadly betrayal. The ultimate dead! A deadly whittle, a deadly defense, a deadly faith, a deadly class trial! Whoosh! Uh, only one save slot, because we aren't scared of anything in this house. <laughs> we fear nothing. We're gonna set my skills. My many, many skills that I have. Breathing technique. Ooh. The focus gauge recovers more quickly. That's actually pretty good. You know what? I'm not, I'm not opposed to this. This is great. All right. I guess it's time to go. Let's do this. Fuck yeah. I don't really remember Let's how to do this. With a basic explanation of the class trial. So, your votes will determine the results. Maybe I should have read up on how to do this again before starting. <laughs> oh well. Oh if well. You can figure out who done it, then only they will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong one, then I'll punish everyone besides the Blackened, and the one that deceived everyone else will graduate. Okay then. So, first off, let's talk about the murder weapon! First, we have to make it clear what was used to deliver the fatal blow. Oh my god! Do have to click? Okay. Good. Great. I press okay, space bar to slow it. According to the monocular file, the killer used a blunt instrument. But what kind of blunt instrument could it have been? I bet it was no pipe. You gotta Which of these am I supposed to hit? You gotta it shoot. Like it apply. Oh, you gotta shoot the one you want to argue with. Poor 
So whenever you shoot a, a statement, that's you being time. like, no, that's wrong. There is something with a blood stain on it. Alrighty, then I'll just iron pipe then, right? Yeah, I would believe that would be the thing you would shoot. According to the Monokuma fire. Isn't there a way I can speed this up? I don't remember. Yeah, there is. I don't know what How button it is, though. I bet it was an iron pipe. I bet it was an iron pipe. No, that's wrong. No! You're incorrect! You dumbass! Can we agree that the object that dealt the fatal blow was the dumbbell? Found at the scene of the crime? It was covered in blood. And there was nothing else at the scene that could have caused that kind of injury. And the wound on the victim's head is consistent with the shape of the dumbbell. As far as I'm concerned, there's no mistake and no room for doubt on this one. You... looked at her head wound? Yay! That's so creepy! Guys, it's a murder trial. If you don't mind, I will proceed from here. Let's move on to discussion of the culprit. Uh, yeah. Although, I believe the criminal behind this heinous act is already quite clear. Oh, uh, yeah? For real? Chihiro's killer is... The fiendish serial killer, Genocide Jack. <laughs> the fiendish serial did he really kill Chihiro? A new element has been added to non-stop debates. Do you like to hear more? Absolutely. For this debate, lines of white noise will appear to disrupt your reactions. Your truth bullets will disappear if they hit these lines, so think of them as obstacles in your debate. But there's a way to keep this white noise from getting in your way. Press the right mouse button to attach the silencer, which you can use to shoot down the right noise. However, if you shoot an actual mark with your silencer instead of the right noise, the time limit will decrease. Take careful aim when you have your silencer out. Oh, but if you're gentle, we're not on gentle. So, you know, we can just get fucked. <laughs> we can just get fucked. You know, it's a Jack case file. The culprit is genocide. Jack. Is this the white noise? Sure. Yeah, the pink is the white noise. Case closed, as far as I'm concerned. But that's impossible. Why? What makes it impossible? Well, I mean, come on. There's just no proof for it. That's gotta be it. No, that's wrong. I didn't even listen to the whole thing, but that's gotta be what it is. I might know one reason he could be involved. What? I found this file while I was looking around the archive in the library. I guess it's some kind of confidential file the police put together about the Genocide Jack case. What? That's kind of weird as shit, isn't it? What was something like that doing in the library? The why of it is probably more trouble than it's worth. So let's forget about that for now. I mean, Mondo's got a point. What the fuck is that doing in a More high school library? It outlines <laughs> all the specifics of every Genocide Jack case in exceeding detail. According to the file, there appear to be two defining characteristics in every Genocide Jack case. The first is that a bloody message is found written at the scene of every murder. Oh, that's right. Boob lust. Uh, no. Lust. It's actually bloodlust. But more important is the other characteristic, and it's something that has never been made public. Never made public? What the hell is it? Why don't you tell them, Makoto? Yeah, I'll tell them. <laughs> the other characteristic of Everside Genocide Jack. The case, which the world at large doesn't know, if I'm not mistaken, has to do with the positioning of the body. How the victim was positioned. I got it! Apparently, in every Genocide Jack case, the killer suspends the body in a certain way. 
Other than the killer, the only people who know about this are the higher-ups in the police department. However, Chihiro was most definitely suspended in the same way. So, how did the culprit know about this when only high-level police officials were aware of it? There's only one logical answer I can think of. It's because the culprit in this case is the real Genocide Jack. No fucking way! You're saying Genocide Jack is one of us? Yes. In fact, it's Toko. <laughs> right to the fucking point. <laughs> Skip from the bullshit. Pause it there for a second. Oh my god. He came right at her and said, Because it's Toko. <laughs> Dragging her ass. Genocide Jack's true identity is Toko Fukawa. You lie! What? what? Hey, okay, wait, hold on a sec. Toko has, like, bloodophobia or whatever, remember? What kind of serial killer is afraid of blood? Is Toko Genocide Jack? The answer is yes and no. Another riddle. Man... Why is this gotta be so complicated? The riddle for sure, but I feel like I understand it. But it means for Genocide Jack to be Toko, but also to not be Toko. Where did it say something like that? The answer is that she's not just one person, but multiple people, right? Hangman's Gambit. I think I remember how to do this. Yeah, you just shoot the letters you need. Fuck, what am I supposed to- wait, what? Yeah, you're just supposed to spell the word. Wait, what am I spelling? Uh, that's something that you need to figure about. out. What were we talking about? Hold on, you can remind me of what it was. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> you weren't paying attention? No! <laughs> What would make sense between an S and an H? Just realistically in a word. A? I? Taylor, tell me what they said, please. <laughs> <laughs> they were talking about how can somebody be multiple people, but also one person. What? Try shooting the C. Yeah. What? I'm confused. Now I Why they choose that for the word for it? I don't know. They Is definitely could have chosen a Jack better a word. Split personality? Huh? I think I read that somewhere in the file, too. They thought that the suspect might have... What did they call it? Dissociative Identity Disorder. Oh, okay. But still, go and say that about Miss Fukawa is... Perfectly acceptable. Oh, wow. Toko's strange behavior after seeing the body is proof enough that she has a split personality. Is it Biakua? The only thing that took a oh shit has to do with her behavior. Her behavior changed. I got it. She fainted and her behavior You're changed, right? About how she yeah. Started acting totally different than usual. So technically, two of those rents answers are right. That's right. Think back. She fainted when she saw Chihiro's corpse, and then when she woke up. I'm fine. Whoa, is that a dead body? Hey, are you dead? <laughs> she must have hit her head real hard when she fainted. The world has a front and a back, a top inning and a bottom, a sea of truth and a web of lies. 
girl, what the fuck are you talking about? This is quite concerning. I mean, she sounds completely different. She was acting funny, that's for sure. That melancholy tone of hers completely disappeared. Don't go assigning adjectives to my tone without permission. Not to mention, once she regained consciousness and saw Chihiro's body again, she was utterly calm. In other words, within her is one personality that can handle blood, and one that obviously can. <laughs> so when Toko trapped herself in her room, it's because she was scared of Genocide Jack? I won't let Genocide Jack have control! I'll dr drive out the killer! Drive out the murderous fiend! The reason she locked herself in her room wasn't to keep other people from getting in. It was to keep her other personality from getting out. Like, I don't know, man. Hifumi's still sus. What? <laughs> Toko <laughs> was afraid. Afraid of the murderous fiend inside of her. Of killing even more people. Uh, uh, how? Yeah. How can you know all this? I do believe you misunderstood her. What she's trying to say isn't, how can you know all this? No. What she wants to know is, how could you tell them? Huh? Last night, just before Monokuma gave his motive speech, Toko and I had a strange conversation. She told me a most interesting story. She said, a murderous fiend lived within her, and she was afraid it could appear and attack at any time. And that trepidation is what's caused her to have such a bleak attitude. Isn't that right, Toko? <laughs> this is all a lie. Right, Toko? You said you wouldn't tell anyone. What? You promised? I can't believe you lied! You have only yourself to blame. You came to me with your tragic little story. I didn't ask you to. Damn. This is the real world, not some romantic fantasy fairy Get tale. <laughs> <laughs> she got played. Besides, you broke your promise first. You said that as long as you were here, no matter what, you wouldn't let Genocide Jack kill anyone. Ooh. But in spite of that promise, I'm sorry, I couldn't k keep our promise, but don't worry, never again. I, I won't let Genocide Jack have control ever again! You said if I kept my promise, you would go out with me. That's the only reason I promise! How many times do I have to tell you? I never said that. But you weren't able to do it. You just couldn't resist that rush you got from killing, could you? This man's like the ultimate oh, gaslighter. <laughs> Gaslight, gatekeep, oh, girl boss. But, but... but your efforts were useless. What a disappointment. Oh my god. <laughs> Rose in her ass. He's coming at her. The opening act is <laughs> Fucking Celeste so over there watching this shit go down like all. Oh. Directly. oh. You don't need Togo's body suddenly lunged backwards. A huge thud echoed across the courtroom, but then the next second. Well, hello there. Is it me you were hoping to see? <laughs> what, the heck? what the hell is going on? What can that tongue do, ma'am? I'm the ultimate murderous fiend, Genocide Jack! Or better yet, let's go with Genocide Jill! What the fuck is this? Toko, what 
happened to you? Not Toko. That's a loser name. And what happened is a textbook split personality. So what if one of them happens to be a serial killer? You should turn a blind eye to one's fault. Oh my god. What is happening right now? <laughs> what is happening indeed? It's so intense. Like they say, sound and murder is mind, sound and murder is body. Do they say that? This one do is they so say that? The I don't think they know. do. Yes, well, the world is composed of a front and a back, you know. Just like how every inning has a top and a bottom, or how in the depths of every truth lives a little lie. Hey, remember like a bunch of episodes oh, back exactly when you said, man, what if Toko's like the ultimate killer? Uh, did I say that? You said that either about Toko or Kyoko, and I was just sitting- I think you said it about Toko, and I was just sitting oh, no, there it's sweating. Probably about Kyoko. <laughs> Cause I know Kyoko, I was like, she's like the ultimate assassin, right? I- I could have swore to god that Toko did something that like, oh no, I have a secret, and then you're like, what? Is, is this bitch like the er, ultimate murderer or something? I was just sitting there sweating. Uh, editing <laughs> Kayla, can you find that clip? And if that clip doesn't exist, just like, correct me or something. Let us know that, uh, everything is wrong, this is all a lie. Is this actually her, or is this her split personality? I'm a little confused. Okay, so she has dissociate- she has DID, uh, which okay. is a real thing. However, the way Danganronpa treats it is like a really bad stereotype that isn't actually how it works in the real world. Um, I don't know too much about it, because like, obviously I don't personally have it, uh, but based off forums that I've read about people with DID reacting to this game, um, People with DID has said that this is, like, a terrible representation. Uh, and it usually consists of, like, more than two people within the system. And also just having, oh no, split personality of, like, one person's, like, a shy, good nerd and the other side is a fiendish killer. That's just, like, a really overused trope. Damn. And that's reason number one why I don't like this trial. Though I didn't think they would get to it this quickly. Usually they just beat around the bush. This is the murderous fiend, Genocide Jack? This is, this is, this is beyond insane. Um, Miss Jack, uh, uh, Jill, can I ask you a question? What's up? Uh, Some of us think you might be the mastermind behind our entire situation. What are your thoughts on that? Well, I'll tell you! I am the mastermind of all masterminds! Just kidding! Then... it's not true? Of course it's not true! How dare you try to link me to that creepazoid! Oh my lord. And another thing! The police and government and society in the outside world are totally powerless! I mean, they just let this idiotic, bloodthirsty maniac go buck wild all over town! Sure, I'm a bloodthirsty maniac, but life is pain, right? To live is to hurt other people. It's a necessary evil if you want to survive. The act of living itself causes pain for everyone. Wow. Just kidding again! <laughs> This should be enough to convince you. This murderous fiend is responsible for Chihiro's death. There's clearly a motive, so there should be no doubt. I have incredible doubt now that you said that. <laughs> a motive? Remember what I know this isn't planned. Us. If someone didn't murder and graduate within 24 hours, an embarrassing memory or secret ah, would be revealed. Maybe, okay. Well, let's assume that Toko's secret was about Genocide Jack. If a secret like that came to light, Toko's life would have undoubtedly been forever ruined. So she had a very clear motive to never have that side of herself exposed. Interesting. Very, very, very interesting. 
But sorry, as much as I hate to admit it, I'm not the culprit. Huh? Oh my lord. But I cannot imagine anyone other than you could murder someone in such a bizarre fashion. Maybe so, maybe so, but nevertheless, it's the truth. Do you really expect any of us to believe you? Yeah. I could never believe a word you say, you I mean, monster. you did literally five minutes ago. <laughs> yeah. Maybe, maybe she's totally right about that, but... But something's still bothering me. And we sh what she said, I need to get some more details about all of this. We're doing it again. Around around. Fuck. Status of the dead body. Sorry, but I didn't kill anyone. You say that, but do you really expect any of us to believe it? Perhaps if you had an alibi, that would change things. Oh, an alibi, huh? Now we're talking. When you compare your past murders to this incident. The modus operandi matches completely. What more proof do we need? <laughs> Give it up. You killed her. I don't know about that. What he said isn't Sorry, quite but right. I didn't kill anyone. You say that, but do you really expect any of us to believe it? Perhaps if you had an alibi, that would change things. Oh, an alibi! I can make this go forever. When you just click all the <laughs> He said no, please. No, that's wrong. Are the methods of murder really exactly the same? I'm not so sure about that. Get fucked, Biakua. I think there's a slight difference between the Genocide Jack cases and this one. Huh? How is it any different? Uh-oh, you don't know? Well then, human garbage! Let me tell you! I murder with passion and conviction! I stab I people in the nipples. And I have a very particular way of doing things. Imagine you go to a fancy Italian restaurant. They're very picky about the noodles, the sauce, everything. But what happened to Chihiro? It'd be like if that same Italian restaurant started using ragu or Chef Boyardee. Damn. Call this out. This is no creation of mine. Let me rephrase that in a way that maybe makes more sense. There are two clear differences between the Genocide Jack cases and this one. There's one clear difference between the murders. There are no scissors! Look at the neck and the stomach. Uh... The, vic the victim's fatal injury! For one, the cause of death is different. They were stabbed. In the Genocide Jack murders, all the victims were killed the same way. According to the case file, they were all apparently killed with a pair of scissors. But Jihiro died from a blow to the head, right? Ah, uh, yes. That is remarkably different from the other murders. Oh, Wouldn't yes. It be strange for someone who kills the same way without fail to suddenly change their method? It would be strange, wouldn't it? And there's more. One more conflicting detail. Mmm. That's right. In my recipe of murder, if the bloody message is the tortellini, then the arrangement of the body would be the pesto sauce. Okay. Can you please stop comparing killing people to cooking? Are you saying the other difference has to do with how the body was arranged? That's right, the second difference is related to how she was suspended. Hmm. 
In the photos of the other Sinatra Jack cases, all the other victims were stabbed through their hands. Do you remember what the killer used to suspend her? They used some kind of rope to hang her up by her wrists. What is your point? Well, in all the previous Genocide Jack cases, something else was used to suspend them. Specifically, pairs of razor-sharp scissors. And guess what? I used my own specially designed scissors for the murders and the arrangements! Like I said, I'm a professional, so naturally I'm very picky about the tools I use. And, 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 and you know what else? Big Mac said there's two differences, but he's wrong. I, I love the nickname Big Mac for Makoto. Are you referring no. to me? Are Listen you referring up, to Mac. me? There's actually one more difference! Huh? My word, you really didn't notice? Take a look at who the victims were in each Genocide Jack case! They were all men, weren't they? There's a pattern there, just waiting to be discovered. A pattern? Figure that out, and it'll be plain as death why I couldn't have possibly killed that little lolly girl. He only kills businessmen. <laughs> she only Oop. kills businessmen. <laughs> Looks at Biakio sweating. <laughs> there was a pattern surrounding the genocide Jack victims, and Jihiro didn't fit it. If you look at the names of every victim, what you'll notice is... Oh fuck, I didn't look at that. <laughs> fuck it. A gun. Is it because Chihiro was a girl? Bingo bullseye right on the money! What are you talking about? In all the genocide jack <laughs> cases, <laughs> all the victims had something in common. Wow, they're all men's names. Yep. I'm not gonna read them all because fuck that. <laughs> yeah. They were all guys? That's right! The people I kill with such passion and conviction are all adorable little men! <laughs> I can't believe I said it! I'm so embarrassed! The hell is wrong with you? Just a full throttle boy on boy fangirl, and the mopey side of me just hates it. What? But now I'm on the fast track to becoming a full fledged man, madam! Why do you think she sent Makoto to talk to Biakio so instead of talking to Biakio himself? Adorable little man. Uh. You wouldn't kill her? Would an Italian chef suddenly start making ramen just because they're both noodles? Don't be stupid. A lot of comparison to Italians here. Too much passion and conviction to cross that line. That's the absolute reality of the one and only. Yeah, yeah. Genocide Jill is clearly well, hungry yeah. during this trial. You clearly explained your hobby and your philosophy, but that's not all there is to it. Bianca's like, let's change the subject. I don't want to talk about her killing businessmen. When you're forced to kill uh -huh. in order to survive. Quiet, lowly cur. Lowly cur. I would never kill for a reason as petty as mere survival. And if by some fluke I did kill to survive, why would I bother with the message and arrangement? It'd make me the obvious suspect! That does make some amount of sense. Plus, whatever reason I have for killing, I would never leave out my prized scissors! I wonder if that'll come into play so later. Next episode? Next episode.